Okay, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing my own OS called Plant OS. Like, don't ask me why I named it that. Like, I just thought of that randomly. This thing was originally called Danmore OS, but I decided to change that. But by the way, um, also, um, also, by the way, like, community post I said earlier, um, I think I can release it this week or next week, but I think it's, like, very completed right now. So, I'll probably show it to you guys right now to see what... To show you what Plant OS looks like and how to and basically how this thing is used. All that. Oh wait, I think I get rid of there here. I'll I'll do that again. Much more better. And here it is. This is it still says Windows here because like um I cannot really change that to say Plant OS. I don't like if you can. I don't really know how to change that as well. Like. Yep, I don't think anyone knows. I think this is like the part of the actual thing. So we just, I, because I think I saw some versions of Win some Windows XP editions had their own stuff that set up here. So I don't know how to do it. It's probably, I'll probably never know. So you can now see that it's now starting up now. It's now formatting. Now. I'll probably just speed this up a bit, because, like, this thing is taking extremely long. Alright, so it's now we're starting now, like, like, one big thing I did, like, you'll just see later, um, is the boot screen, I cannot change it, so it still says Windows XP. Like, um, I think it's like, I think if I do try to change it, um, uh, thing would work or anything, like, I just don't know. But now you can see the, the actual changes now. So you can see that this says that you see Plant OS everywhere, and... This new background, which will be the wallpaper, if you can, if which will be shown, which I shown in the in the community post, you can see right here that it says installing Plant OS and setting stuff here. This thing was probably like something extremely easy to do. Right here, you can probably see it says that thing still says try the easiest Windows yet. Oh no, I forgot to, I forgot to change that. There's like a bunch of things I forget to change. Like this, at least this thing is just the first one. Like this thing is a little long to make. Probably like in the second one, like Plant OS 2 or or another name. Like you can, you can decide me. You can decide the name actually. Like I don't really mind about what name you want it. You can you can comment down the new name. But here it still says Windows XP. I don't know why. So now you can see here it says Windows XP most of it. So just Click next, and we can just write a name here, like um name, and then we can just skip that part here. And what we can do is just go to time somewhere you are, so like just like Windows XP, and this thing is continuing on. So that's what you can see here. I'll probably say work group here, because I don't think you can like skip it. And now, and now as you can see it's not continuing on here and i'll probably just speed this up the, again so probably after it restarts the screen shows up again i'll probably just do nothing because it does something else and the windows xp boot screen because i cannot change it and and you'll see some other difference now you're gonna hear my outro song right here. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Okay, so we're now in the desktop right now. You can see here that it already says Plant OS here. Like here, because like. I change it, and there's like a bunch of other stuff. And here's that wallpaper, which is the same thing as the setup. And we'll probably just make the screen resolution look good. So that's why I'm gonna continue on, and see you when uh, my screen resolution is my screen resolution is good. So here it is. So here is Plant OS now. So now what we can do is um uh, go to stuff like here. Like this is the the start screen or whatever. Like this is not like the Windows 8 start screen. Um. You can see I can go to stuff like um, Notepad, 
Like, if you just click on it, it'll just stay purple there forever. Like, you can't change it back to blue. That's just what happens here. So here's Notepad here. And so we got, like, um, Internet. It just goes to Google.com, which... Also, if you go to Internet Explorer, it leads to that as well. And, um, uh, there's, like, a bunch of stuff like the... Like, this part here. And, uh, the Welcome to Windows, it still says that, but... When you go on it, it says Welcome to... Getting started with Client OS. And also for the themes, um... You can see that we got a sample test visual style theme, which I... I just randomly found. This is what the theme looks like. We got like the this is what the theme looks like. But there's also like other themes which which aren't showing for some reason. So what we have to do is um go here and to check out those themes you have to go to like the resources and themes. And you can see all these other themes here. Like we got the Royale theme, which is this one here. Which looks good. And also we got this pro theme, which which this pro theme here, which looks like this. Like yeah, I, I meant I don't know actually. And um, we got the embedded as well. Oh no, I forgot. I have to like close that. The embedded theme that is just some dark version of that Royale theme, I don't know what, why this theme also existed. And we also got like basic themes, like the classic theme. This is basically all the themes here. And also, um, there's like, um, you can go to like, clock app or whatever, like, when I was like adding stuff, I just, I would just pull that off like some other Windows XP edition. And, uh, yeah, so you got stuff like the on-screen keyboard and all that other stuff. That's what's just here, by the way. But the Winverse still says, um, Windows XP Professional. Like, if you know how to change this to something, like, it'll be really cool. But it also, like, if you only hover over this, it says click to do whatever you, you want, lol. I don't know why. And, uh, just set programs and, yep, this is just from Windows XP. So yeah, this is what Plant OS 1 is. So this is just all the things that are in the original, in the first version of Plant OS. Like, I think the newer versions will have some more differences. Like, I'll probably move, remove this annoying black box or completely remove that icon completely just to make the words just say Plant OS. And we got... But it kind of looks good on the classic theme, by the way. I think it'll look way better if it's just just the text itself. So yeah, I think this is what Plant OS One is. Um, uh, so yeah, I think this is everything that we have in Plant OS One. In the future, it'll probably be a bit more advanced. And yeah, I'll probably like don't know when to upload it. I should upload it today, or it's because I'm like busy tomorrow. Like. There's like a bunch of other days. So yeah, you can probably try those instead. Yeah, so that's all for today's video. So goodbye and see you soon, guys. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow. I'll miss you.